itself. The, uh, both towers appear to be structurally sound and not only small pieces of debris uh, uh, circulating in the air uh, around it, around it where the explosions occur. The buildings it, themselves uh, seem to be intact. Intact as far as their structure is concerned. There have been talk over the years uh, about, about the threat of terrorism uh, fall, uh, making the, uh, the buildings fall down uh, onto the streets. But I can reassure everybody that they seem to be holding up uh, fairly well while uh, efforts are going forward to fight the fires and, the, uh, and whatever happened uh, in those uh, two, two, two towers. Now we can see uh, smoke uh, emanating from many of the floors of the, uh, of the two towers. We uh, see to the left of your picture there uh, smoke coming out of uh, the floors above where the plane crashed uh, into, uh, I believe that's the, uh, uh, the north tower that we're looking at there. Thousands yes. of people gathered where I am here at City Hall Park in front of City Hall uh, just watching what's going on. Uh, it's uh, very difficult to, they, they come by and they say, what happened, what happened? And you just got to say, something hit the building, and then something hit both buildings. Well, we, uh, we, we saw clearly, uh, we didn't see the first one, but we saw clearly mm -hmm. that a plane uh, deliberately crashed mm -hmm. into the, one of the upper floors of the World Trade Center. That was the second plane. So two planes. Mm -hmm. uh, crashed into the uh, upper floors of each of the World Trade Center towers. And I'm just, uh, I understand now that uh, Port Authority headquarters are in uh, one yes. of those buildings somewhere mm -hmm. near that location. Uh, Jim, I, I yes. don't know whether we've confirmed that this was an aircraft or to be more specific. Some people said they thought they saw a missile. Uh, I don't know how people could dis dis differentiate, but we might mm -hmm. keep open the possibility that this was a missile attack mm -hmm. uh, on these buildings. Uh, Ali, I must say that uh, we have an eyewitness who said it was a large plane that crashed first. And then uh -huh. as, as we were watching the live picture here in the studio, we saw a plane crash into the crash into the other tower of the world trade center and again let's uh just to be sure th there oh, it is oh. there it is the plane mm. went right through mm. the other tower of the world trade center that is a very hard thing to watch and clearly mm. clearly untold carnage must be the result of those uh, uh suicide mm terrorist activities. That was a large, a large commercial plane. Was a jet. The, the, the gentleman, the Jim Friedel, the uh, gentleman from Hoboken who was watching said the first one looked to him like a 727. Like a 727. Well, but look at the wingspan, the swath it cut through the towers. Yeah. Yeah, lots of speculation, no doubt. And for years, we have been talking about security from terrorists here in this major city. It makes you wonder how if it indeed were two planes, we did see one. How did they manage to get into the area and, and to, to you just wonder, hit the these, plane uh, like that? These are all they the things the that are going to have to be that are going to have to be answered. How could uh, how could two mm. uh, large planes uh, just that quickly? Uh, get out of uh, out of uh, control from our local uh, presumably yes. commercial aircraft and now we can't speak to the first one mm. but that second aircraft that went through looked like a large twin engine or three engine mm. jet those are simply not around for private aviation yeah that's not your piper cub no it is mm. not that's obviously mm. designed to do considerable damage uh, to those buildings on this day when we're holding a primary election mm. in New York City. Now, Jim, I would imagine... Jim, what, uh, Ollie? Jim, what you're saying uh, could, could be a drone aircraft. That's an aircraft that's uh, uh, guided electronically uh, to its target without having a pilot. Now, that is a possibility as well. In the meantime, I can tell you the flames are shooting out of both towers now. Uh, the heaviest being on the south tower, the northeast corner of the south tower uh, of the World Trade Center. But there's a considerable blaze going on in the north tower as well. Oh. Yeah, I wonder if there's any way of finding out exactly what is located on those upper floors. You'd like to just cross your fingers and pray to God that maybe 
there weren't and, uh, yeah, a there lot were of people up there state at that office time. buildings yeah. and of course uh, lots of commercial huh. office buildings uh, on those spaces as well I know uh, during the last terrorist attack on the mm. World Trade Center uh, my son was in the building mm. and mm. Uh, he told stories of, of, of groping down through these staircases yes. for some 50 floors mm. before he, thank God, got out safely. Mm. In fact, the governor has an office in the uh, mm. World Trade Center as well. Uh, the, the, there is one thing. After the bombing of the World mm. Trade Center in, in the 90s, I do know that there were major efforts to have disaster drills, to have a mm -hmm. preparedness plan in the event uh, of an awful tragedy like this, but one has to wonder how with two gigantic skyscrapers mm -hmm. burning, uh, the fire department and emergency services can handle both in that confined space uh, without Sometimes a tremendous No matter toll. how much you set in can place, how much you try to prepare for, until it actually happens, it's just not the same thing. Again, you're looking at a live picture of the World Trade Center, where uh, shortly before nine o'clock, shortly before nine o'clock this morning, and then shortly after nine o'clock, uh, planes apparently deliberately crashed into the uh, buildings. Mm -hmm. Alani Devito, are you there? Alani Devito, are you there? I understand we have uh, another eyewitness uh, uh, to this catastrophe. Uh, Lonnie DeVito, are you there? Uh, apparently uh, we lost Lonnie, but again... This may be confusing to some people because in a sense it is a little confusing to me. We every now and then see what looks like, I don't know if it's the bottom of a chopper that is swinging back and forth. Oh, that, would is be, that? that would be our... That our, is ours. That would be okay. uh, the, uh, the rudders mm -hmm. from, uh, from our chopper oh, that every once in a while. Right. Hey the, Jim! Lonnie DeVito, I, are you there? I am here. Can you hear me? Yes, I can, Lonnie. Thank Hi. you. This is Jim Ryan in the in the studio. Can you tell us what you heard and saw when the when the um, blast took place? Right now, I was actually talking my, to talking to my brother on the phone about what happened. I I was on my roof and I saw something. From where I am, I really can't see what it is. I saw something go into into the other building because from where I am, I can see the World Trade Center. I co I run downstairs and I see on the news that it, it looks like another fighter jet is what it looks like. And from my house, I can see all the smoke that's into, into Diker Heights. I can see all of that. It's ridiculous. I can't believe all of this is happening, honestly. You say you're in Di Diker Heights, uh, yes. Lonnie? Yes. Okay. And could you hear the blast from where you were? No, I couldn't hear the blast, but I, I saw something, and it didn't look pretty. <laughs> mm -hmm. Exactly how I can I can't explain it in any other way. I'm in shock right now. All right, Lonnie. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Uh, so, obviously, uh, visible, but not audible from, uh, mm. from uh, way out in Diker Heights. Uh, hey, Jim. Yes, Ali. They appear to be getting water on uh, on this fire. If you can see the uh, the south tower, the uh, black smoke is getting progressively lighter. This indicates steam, which indicates that uh, fire authorities are getting water on the flames. In the meantime, flames are still spitting out from uh, from both towers. Uh, now, uh, while the while the whatever hit the building crashed in the north side of the north tower, we see flames coming out of the east side uh, facing Queens and Brooklyn, if you will. Uh, the, uh, the flames on the south tower, which uh, appear to be getting uh, lesser and lesser, uh, is where the uh, smoke is progress getting progressively lighter and lighter, indicating that uh, the fire officials are getting closer to, uh, to putting this fire out. All right, Ali, uh, thank you. Uh, we are now uh, told that the FBI had been investigating a plane hijacking before these crashes took place. So there is the possibility that uh, perhaps one or more planes were hijacked out of one of the local airports and then taken and directly flown into the World Trade Center, smashing uh, the buildings themselves, and Lord knows what, uh, what uh, carnage took place hey, inside. Can yes. you put out a note, or maybe I will myself, people have been coming up to me to try to reach their family and friends and re relatives uh, to tell them that they're okay. Uh, we, we ought to put it out that uh, no one that we know of was hurt on the ground or in any place around uh, the building, that this, this uh, uh, outrage appears to be uh, concentrated on the buildings themselves. So anybody who has a relative or a friend uh, in lower Manhattan, uh, they are not likely to have been affected 
physically by by what happened here. All right. Again, you're looking at a split screen, two different shots of the World Trade Center. Dave, you want to say something? Uh, I would wonder at this point, given what's happened now, uh, what you just mentioned about the FBI, the fact that it is now seemingly two planes, if the military or someone is going to scramble and try and protect the airspace around the southern tip of Manhattan, uh, and indeed what the situation is out at the airports right now as well. It's funny, you should, uh, not funny, but uh, apropos, uh, we are now given word that all three airports area airports are closed so uh, no activity whatsoever at LaGuardia at Kennedy or at Newark airports also there is no subway service right now on the one two three nine N and R lines so there is no subway service in and around the World Trade Center and all three airports have closed. Mm -hmm. Just to bring you mm -hmm. up to date, that as a result, I, I think we can say with yeah. fair amount of certainty right now, two planes, large, apparently commercial jets, deliberately crashed into first one tower of the World Trade Center, then the other, just scant minutes apart. You're looking at live pictures now of the top, two, two split-screen pictures of the tops of the World Trade Center, one from a fixed camera, one from our own uh, uh, Chopper 5. And uh, obviously that is in the middle of the uh, work day, and perhaps there is some significance that it is a primary election day, I don't know, but that is in the middle of a work day. All those floors on both towers of the World Trade Center are certain to have been occupied mm -hmm and it doesn't look uh, mm -hmm. very promising for anybody who was caught in that, uh, in that terrible, mm -hmm. terrible I'm terrorist sure, Jim, act. I'm sure officials would also want to uh, say, yeah, well, I'm go sorry. right ahead. They're just if, talking if, to me, yes, I'm sorry, go, you go right ahead. Uh, they're talking to me in my ear, but you made no, your okay. point. If, if there is anyone who is heading into the city for any reason, if, if it's not an emergency, stay away from the yeah. city, stay away from the downtown area by all means. Uh, perhaps we can talk to Kai Simonson. Kai, can you hear me? All right, uh, that's a, a live picture uh, from, from Kai Simonson. I'll try once again. Uh, we've had uh, communications difficulties, uh, I'll say once again, because uh, our uh, part of our communication setup is on the top of that World Trade Center building, and that was knocked out shortly after the uh, first plane crashed into the first building. But uh, Kai, can you hear me at all? Uh, obviously, uh, mm. obviously, uh, Kai uh, having some hey, communications Jim, problems. Here. Yes, Ali? Uh, I must tell you that small pieces, well, they look small from here, but they're probably much larger than I believe, are falling from the scene of the, the site of the two. Uh, there goes a piece. Uh, uh, so the authorities are clearing the area around. We still have pieces of debris coming down. Not a lot, but every now and every few moments, another piece of debris, looks like aluminum siding, comes uh, flying down uh, from the scene of the two fires. Boy, again, the the, uh, the tower on the right of your screen seems to uh, seems to be. Uh, uh, fire seems to be dying, dying, dying down a little bit, uh, but uh, the fire to the left of your screen still heavy, thick, black smoke spewing out. Just uh, we just told now, we received words that the Lincoln Tunnel and the Holland Tunnel are both closed. So, just uh, as, as a, an aftermath of this terrorist act, terrible terrorist act, mm. the ones I suppose we feared for the longest time, uh, there are is no service in or out of any of the airports. The Lincoln and the Holland tunnels are both closed. There is no subway service at all through downtown Manhattan. The one, two, three, nine, N, or any plane that goes near, any train rather, that goes near the World Trade Center has been discontinued. That as a result of what you see right there. Planes, two of them, one just minutes apart, one into one tower of the World Trade Center, the other into the other tower, causing devastation on the top floors of those buildings. It wouldn't surprise me, Jim, even though right now we just have a tentative shutdown of the subway system, if indeed the mayor or authorities uh, shut down transit 
just given the fact that there may be threats or, or a potential problem securing uh, all of the major